Okay, do. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and just get started. Um, I'm gonna try to just roll through this pretty quickly because uh, I have a fair amount of announcements here and then we just need to talk about um, what uh, game day is gonna look like. So, um, Olivia, do you have any wins? I graduated from school. Hey, Whoa. there you go. <laughs> when did you finish up? What did you say? When did you finish up? What day? Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. Well, that was the day I graduated. Fine. So you've had uh, you've had some days off then. Yes. Good. <laughs> That's always like the best part of summer is that like one week before like summer hits and it's like, oh dear, here we go. <laughs> yeah, no. It's like, oh my gosh, it's so overwhelming, but I got it over with. Good. No, I'm relaxed. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, well, uh, I think my win would probably be. Um, Conference, we have 175 kids signed up so far, uh, which we're super excited about. And then we just got like all of our like merch and marketing stuff back today. So we have um, uh, lots of like fun like banners and stuff coming. And then um, our t shirts actually look like super dope this year. So, um, which I'm pumped about. So it'll be good. Um, so, as far as service and just kind of what the day looks like, um, so Pastor has been speaking. Uh, we have game day this weekend, it's also move up weekend. Um, so I'll talk about move ups here in a little bit. We got conference coming up um, from June 23rd to the 25th. Um, are you serving at conference? I'm gonna try with like, my work schedule. Like, okay. Work and then the time is on, I'm gonna try to come gotcha. Okay. Um, well, we have leader training at 8:30 uh, p.m. on June 10th. Um, so uh, we'll have our leader training and the. <coughs> Uh, on Zoom, uh, everything's happening just completely virtually. Pastor Ben's going to be leading that. Um, but that's June 10th at 8.30. And then um, we have move-ups this weekend. So uh, fifth grade breakouts are in kind of like new locations um, compared to what they used to be. But everybody else is the same for 9 a.m. since we have um, just fifth through eighth kind of combined. Um, depending on just what we have student-wise, we'll either just go co-ed or we'll do like a girls group and a guys group of what we normally do. So, um, but uh, essentially for service, it looks pretty uh, straightforward. We're gonna go through service like we normally do. We'll have worship, we'll have um, a message from Pastor Ben, and then uh, we'll break into groups. But on game day, we do only break into groups for about five minutes. So we'll be in groups for five minutes or so. And then, um, uh, and then we'll head outside to the inflatables. So, um, I'll give a little bit more uh, info about that here in a moment, um, but we do have our fifth, our brand new fifth graders with us. So um, who uh, anybody that is coming in from fifth grade, we have a booth set up for them like we did at Sozo, um, just basically giving them like VIP shirts, welcoming them to Echo. So all of our new fourth graders that are now fifth graders, um, they'll want to grab that. Parents have been texted. Um, we've messaged all of them and been like, hey, you're a uh, fifth grader like is now getting dropped off and picked up an echo and if you're a sixth grade parent um you don't need to bring name tags anymore we don't do name tags from sixth grade on so they've all been texted and notified um and then a couple more notes uh echo small groups in the weekend of june 19th and 20th so we have two more weeks after this weekend um and then small groups go off for the whole summer um we continue running services the interns typically run services throughout the summer uh just without small groups um, and then we also have Shadow Day next week. So we're inviting basically parents of any of our students to come to Shadow Day on uh, June 12th and 13th. So they'll come and the goal is, is this just after service is a chance for them to meet their uh, child's small group leader. So um, just making sure that we're available after services on the 12th and the 13th um, as we'll have uh, parents coming back just to say hi because they're getting texted and communicated through, through Parent Connect. Um, and then the last announcement I have before we just kind of go into um, a little bit about game day today, uh, we have our leadership development guide. Um, so it's basically like a monthly training that our church puts out. You guys have all gotten uh, a text yesterday, um, but it basically is like a once a month training that all of our staff and our dream team goes through um, together. So last month um, we talked about a culture of excellence. This month we're talking about adding value. Um, it's super, super simple. It's like typically like a, a 10 to 20 minute video training and then um, a little bit of a longer uh, uh, development guide that kind of goes with that. So there's a PDF and then there's some, some additional messages for like going deeper. So you could make it a weekly thing, um, but we're asking that everyone at least go through the monthly training and that gets texted uh, straight to your phone. I think it just went out yesterday uh, afternoon. So um, you should have it somewhere on your phone in a text. 
Uh, and then just last announcement, and then we'll pray. Um, so with game day today, we do have inflatables. Um, they're a lot of fun. We have a blast out there. Um, they can also be extremely dangerous if we are not smart about it. So um, as students kind of go out there and, and are playing on them, just reminding them um, basically no, uh, uh, no glasses, no shoes, no sharp objects. Um, if they have like earrings that possibly have like a loose backing, talking with them about that and having them take them off beforehand, um, just that there's no chance that we possibly like pop them. Um, Huh? How do you know that? Well, I don't know. Some people are like, oh, my backing always falls off. All the time. Okay, whatever. So um, I don't have that problem. Um, but no sharp objects, uh, no glasses, because they're just going to break. Um, and uh, just making sure that, that there's just safety as they're out there. Um, we have two different, there's two bounce houses that can't do more than like six people on them at a time. And then the other one runs uh, like two people for like the jousting slash uh, like bungee cord thing. So um, you'll see them when we get out there. Me and Mariah and Ben will all be out there too, um, kind of to help man them. Uh, with 9 a.m. it should be a little bit smaller of a service, so I'm not expecting us to have a like ton of kids out there with us. Um, but I could see kids coming to the 9 a.m. because they're coming before it gets like really nice and, out and beautiful the entire day. So I can see people coming to the early service because of that. So um, just keep that in mind, uh, just making sure that we're, um, that we're just leading, being strong leaders when we're out there um, and making sure that the students just aren't uh, going absolutely nuts, especially our brand new fifth graders, which uh, sometimes just get really excited. So, um, uh, but yeah, we'll talk more once we're actually out there, uh, but we'll be in groups for five minutes and we'll head out the plan the inflatables for pretty much the rest of the service and we'll come back in at um, 10, 15 as normal. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, pray and then we'll... Uh, We'll get hop to it. So, uh, Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you for today, God. I thank you for um, the fact that we just get to minister to your children this morning, Jesus. I thank you that you just uh, look at every one of them. You just count them uh, as as precious uh, children of you, God. And I thank you that we just get the blessing of being able to minister to them and um, just being able to spend time with them this morning, God. I thank you that as uh, we go through game day today, Lord, that there is uh, just safety for everybody involved, God. There's a lot of fun to be had, but most importantly, um, that the message and, and the words that we sing and that we speak today, God, are just reflected back towards you, God. I thank you that we uh, look to you for that, Jesus. We look to you for uh, guidance for wisdom, um, and that your grace and mercy just follows us as we go throughout service today. Uh, I thank you for all of these things, and thank you for every student that walks in here, every student that has an experience with you today, Jesus, uh, and in your wonderful, matchless name, God. Amen. Amen. Oh, fast free service.